Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games usually through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will continue to explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. In this series, we are playing as the President of France. We will be entering our first term of our fourth year as the president of France. Let's see how we're doing. Health is up. Demand from a donor. One of your major party donors has ideas about policy. One of your major party donors, Blanche Fleur Vicente, is insisting that you placate them by implementing a special policy, rural development grants. If you refuse to do so, they will abandon their financial support from the futurist party. I will refuse the donor. She will abandon me. Hospital overcrowding. Hospital bed occupancy rates have fallen and the doctors are pleased to report there are no longer un acceptable waiting list for routine operations. United Nations Secretary General, one of our prominent diplomats, has been appointed Secretary General of the United Nations. They will become the spokesperson and leader of this powerful global organization, acting as a world moderator. Patriots are up by 10%, everyone is up by 5%, and our foreign relations is up by 7%. Budget report. The, the International Credit Rating Agency rates our government as a B. This is a bad sign and is pushing up the rate of interest we pay on our debt. We must address this. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally to be considered adequate. Economic forecast. The global economy is in recession and is this having a negative effect on our GDP. Rules report. The people are indifferent to your government. We estimate getting 51% of the vote in an election. We have 14 political capital to respend. We still have tax evasion. There is always a small sector of society to determine to avoid paying their fair share of taxes. Tax evasion has turned into an epidemic with inspectors unable to cope with the number of scams and evaders. This will lower tax evasion, organized crime, corruption, and liberalism will go down. Unexplained wealth orders, a break with normal assumption of innocent until proven guilty. Unexplained wealth orders allow prosecution where a wealthy individual cannot explain where their wealth comes from. Controversial but an effective policy against career criminals who are clearly profiting from crime but have covered their tracks well. Let's implement this. We'll do to maximum. Let's apply the changes. We have four political capital remaining. Alcohol tax. Medically, there is a clear case for the government to tax alcohol in order to discourage consumption because of its negative effects on the health and its possible links to social breakdown. On the other hand, those who drink socially see the government benefiting from such a tax as hypocritical. We will use three political capital, we will raise it to 9% and we will raise quite a few million euros. Let's apply the changes. We have one political capital remaining. Let's put this loan political capital into electric car initiative. The introduction of a standardized nationwide recharging system for electric cars has led to increase in sales of such vehicles. Encouraging the acquisition of electric cars reduces our country's dependency on oil. Environmentalists are happy about every car that does not emit carbon dioxide. Let's use the last of our political capital and raise it to about one. Let's apply the changes. We are out of political capital and therefore we are ending our first term of our fourth year as President of France. Let's hit that button and see what happens. We are entering the second term of our fourth year as President of France. The GDP is up. Health is is up. Face on the new banknotes. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. New banknotes will be introduced soon and a new face has to be put on them. An honorable archbishop and a famous human rights activist from our country have made it to the final list and it is now for you to decide who will be the face of our currency in the future. Archbishop Fernando Martinez. The Archbishop Fernando Martinez was truly a holy man, very dependable and pure. His strong belief may have been a bit much for liberals, but he served as a role model for conservatives. Putting his face on our bank will certainly send out a subtle message of our country's faith. Choose Natalie Garcia. Natalie Garcia has always been the front line to defend human rights from anyone, anywhere in the world. This has brought her trouble with many major corporations, but the people love and support her. With her face on our bank notes, we will send a message of freedom and liberty to the whole world. Natalie Garcia, a good face of freedom and liberty, and we will select Natalie Garcia. The liberals are happy at 5%. Foreign relations is up 5%. Religious are down 10%. Budget report. The International Credit Rating Agency rates our government as a B. This is a bad sign. It is pushing up the rate of interest we pay on our debt. We must address this. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be adequate. Economic forecast. The global economy is in a recession and this is having a negative effect on our GDP. Polls report. The people are indifferent to your government. We estimate getting 60% of the vote in an election. Let's take a look at our 
cabinet. The transportation minister is very unhappy. Let's fire her. Let's hire someone new for transportation. Let's go with Sophie Garnier. Oh, and our foreign policy minister is miserable. So let's fire her too. Let's hire somebody new for foreign policy. The only person we have qualified for foreign policy is Florine Duval. Let's hire her. We have 15 political capital to spend. Let's take a look at what we can do with our policy. Citizenship for sale will raise us some money. Citizenship for sale where immigration causes concern about influx of low paid workers or those who may be dependent on state or otherwise represent a drag on resources. Citizenship may be granted to those immigrants who have considerable personal wealth and thus can prove they will not be a burden. This may appear to be unfair to the majority that would be immigrants without such means, but we're going to implement this. Right now we have it at upper middle class. Let's go all the way to middle class. We'll raise about 90 million euros. Let's apply the changes. We have one political capital remaining. Art subsidies. Investing public money into the arts is controversial with capitalists who see it as supporting an uneconomic elitist entertainment, but others see it as vital to a country's culture, boosting our image on the world stage and attracting tourists. We'll use our last political capital for this. We will apply the changes. We are at the end of our second term of our fourth year as president of France. Let's hit that button. We'll be entering our third term of our fourth year as president of France. Let's see what happens. Surgical strikes. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Terrorists in the Middle East have started to attack vital pipelines owned by our companies and which directly provide us with fuel. In order to protect our oil supply, the army would like to start surgical strikes on carefully selected targets. For surgical strikes. Terrorism is a real threat and rising oil prices limit growth. We have the means to disrupt terrorist operations without risking the lives of our soldiers. We have to strike now and prevent those terrorists from getting the upper hand. Do not engage. The troubles in that area have economic and social reasons that cannot be solved by bombing terrorist leaders. A ground war and subsequent rebuilding are more costly but far more effective ways to solve the problems of this region. We're going to select do not engage. The patriots are down at negative 9%. The oil supply is down at negative 7%. Economic forecast. The global economy is in a recession and this is having a negative effect on our GDP. Budget report. Our credit rating is worryingly just a B. We need to fix this either through growing our GDP or cutting expenditure or increasing taxation. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally to be considered adequate. Polls report. People are indifferent to your government. We estimate getting 54% of the vote in an election. We have 15 political capital to spend. Telecommuting initiative. Telecommuting or working from home is seen as desirable because it reduces the pressure on the transport infrastructure and can be an improvement on people's quality of life. It's also welcomed by parents. This policy offers tax incentive to companies supporting this option. This will increase productivity. Parents will be happy. Trade unions will be happy. Commuters will be happy. The telecoms industry will increase. Let's implement this policy. It's 100% popular with the voters. I'm also trying to think of productivity because increasing our GDP may help our credit rating. We're going to do this to about high. We're going to apply the changes. We have 13 political capital remaining. Let's do some maternity leave. Maternity leave with to some people ensuring that mothers have the right to maternity leave and to return to their jobs afterwards is a sign of a civilized society and one that encourages women to work. Some small businesses are concerned that this can put an unpredictable and even potentially crippling burden on an employer, especially where the number of employees are small. It could be argued that this actually encourages employers not to employ women. Right now it's at half pay. Let us go up to three quarters pay. We'll put four political capital in this. Hopefully this will help our GDP. We have nine political capital remaining. We're going to put some of our political capital into toll roads. Toll roads charge motorists to use specific roads, normally major highways. This is a great example of uh, directly applying market forces by only charging those who use a particular route for construction and maintenance of that route. Motorists tend to see this as just another form of taxation, whereas commuters appreciate not being charged for the roads they seldom use. We're trying to raise money. We would be raising about 20 million euro if I were used six political capital. We apply the change. We have three political capital remaining. Tourism ad campaign. Tourism is not only a source of income for many people and businesses, it also strengthens foreign relations. This campaign will run in foreign countries, showing your most beautiful places, important sites to see, wonderful people to meet, tasty beers to drink, and maybe even throw in a few free tickets to museums and shows, all in the hopes of attracting more people to visit us. Let's implement this. Perhaps uh, we'll improve our foreign relations, and that will help 
our credit rating. Let's go up to high. Apply the changes. We have one political capital remaining. Let's do some in witness protection program as we have still have a problem with organized crime. Witness protection program. What good is catching a criminal if the witnesses of the crime disappears forever? Protecting those witnesses is of the utmost importance for working justice system. And the better it is, the more criminals get convicted and the more witnesses can forward if they see a crime. We are going all the way to maximum and we are applying the changes. We have zero political capital remaining. We are at the end of our third term of our fourth year as president of France. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering the fourth term of our fourth year as president of France. Let's see how we did. World Heritage Site. An international body has awarded a landmark in our country world heritage status. This award is reserved for sites that have significant cultural, historical, and scientific value to the interest of humanity. Our special location will now be legally protected by international treaties, and we expect a large boost of tourism as the world views our marvel. Tourism is up 12%. The patriots are happy at 10%. Credit rating downgraded. The major international credit agencies have downgraded the status of your government debt. This is likely to have a knock-on effect on GDP as foreign companies become wary of investing in our economy. It will also result in the interest rate we pay on our debt rising. There's a good chance that this will upset our capitalist voters too. You should take action to regain credibility with the ratings agency by reducing the level of debt as soon as possible. Your current credit rating is now a triple C. Capitalists are unhappy at negative 5. The GDP is suffering at negative 3% and business confidence is down at negative 15%. Budget report. The international credit rating agency rates our government as a triple C. This is a bad sign. It is pushing up the rate of interest we pay on our debt. We must address this. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be adequate. Economic forecast. The global economy is in a recession and this is having a negative effect on our GDP. Polls report. The people are indifferent to your government and we estimate getting 64% of the vote in an election. Let's continue. We have 15 political capital to spend. School vouchers. School vouchers are measure designed to encourage the growth of private schooling while still enabling everyone to afford education. School vouchers are issued by the state to parents for each child which they can spend in private sector on education. This is a different approach to pure state schooling because with school vouchers the schools are privately run and the teachers are no longer state employees. We're going to implement this because there is a teacher strike going on. Let's bring this up to high and we'll apply the changes. We have six political capital remaining. We have organized crime and it is dragging on our economy. Intelligence services. Security services are an essential tool in the fight against organized crime and terrorism. Good or reliable intelligence can be difficult and expensive to obtain. In many cases, the methods employed can be unpopular with liberals and human rights advocates. We have a high-tech spy service right now. I'm going to put four political capital in that. This will affect organized crime greatly. Let's apply the changes. We have two political capital remaining. Body cameras. A compulsory wearing of cameras by law enforcement workers is a way to ensure that those members stick to the law themselves and act in a respectful and honorable way when engaging with members of the public. Without cameras, corruption and Bullying complaints against the police are not so easily dealt with. We're going to use our last political capital on this and we will apply the changes. We have zero political capital remaining and thus we are at the end of our fourth term of our fourth year as president of France. So we are at the end of our episode. Thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.